So let's talk about how much money you can make by being an influencer on Instagram, or not just by being an influencer, but to be a person or a business on Instagram and how you are able to use Instagram to make more money. Let's first talk about some income factors because it really depends on you. You can start making money with just a few hundred followers and I also had people to make money on Instagram. They had, I don't know, 150, no, 149 followers where he started. Now he has much, much more than 20,000 followers, but he started with 149 followers. I always remember this. And he already gained the first dollar on Instagram. But there are some different income factors it depends on. Of course, it also depends on the amount of followers, but that's not just the case. Because for example, if we have 200,000 follower and only a reach of 100 people, then your followers are not very valuable. Therefore, it's a combination of your followers, of the amount or of the impressions you have, and very, very importantly, of the reach, because the people and the business who are work with you are interesting are interested in your reach. How many people or how many accounts are you able to reach? It also depends on your niche. If you are selling or if you're promoting high valuable products, then the income factors are much, much higher because people can or businesses can spend more money for marketing. But if you, I don't know, let's say you make um, a promotion for a product which costs only $10, how much money should the company give you to promote this product? If you, I don't know, promote a business or a service from a company which costs, I don't know, $10,000, for example, real estates, um, the people are, or the businesses can spend much, much more money on marketing because the value you deliver and um, the, sell it, the sales you are generating are much, much higher and therefore the margins are much, much higher as well. It also depends on the style of the content um, because there are people with different um, styles and different contents and it really depends on your content. If you are just doing a promotion page where you only promote different products, your audience probably will not very engage a lot with your content and therefore the content style is also important and of course the engagement rate. What I already said, if you have 100,000 followers and only 150 likes, then no one probably will give you money for this or not a lot of money for this uh, compared if you, let's say, have 20,000 followers and if you have, I don't know, 5,000 likes per picture, uh, real likes, and I don't know, 1,000 comments, then people think, wow, this is an awesome, incredible engagement rate and your value is much, much higher. Therefore, it's not just the follower. If you see big accounts with 30,000, 50,000, maybe 100,000 followers, Maybe they make less money than accounts with 5,000 followers. And it really depends on those different income factors. Most importantly is the reach, your niche, and your engagement rate. The followers, as I said, is not as important as those three other things. Let's give you two of my student examples. Um, I, have, I work with different clients, as I already said. I worked with a business owner uh, who grew by 5,000% in only 10 months. He had an Amazon FBA business like I have, um, and he was earning $5,000 per month. And we were talking about Amazon FBA and about how he's making sales and how he's doing marketing. And then I said, you know, if you work with me, I will promise you, you will make much, much more money per month if you're using social media. And what we actually did is we uh, created an Instagram account and we were not really focusing on Facebook. We more focused on the Instagram account and we worked with so many different several influencers. Of course, he also created some content for his Instagram account because if you have an empty Instagram account, it doesn't look very, very professional. Therefore, we needed to create a bit of a content for his own account. And then we work with a lot of different influencers and they created a content for him and they were promoting his products because his products are really, really awesome, to be honest. And he were able to make $250,000 just in December. In one month, he were able to make $250,000 just in December. And before, 
he was making $4,000 per month in the beginning of the year. After 10 months, he gained much, much more money just by using social media and especially Instagram because he didn't change anything else. So you can really say this came just from Instagram. Another example uh, was I worked with a client who is a small fashion blogger and he's becoming a CEO. Why is that? Because uh, he has gained 50,000 followers and he's making around 800 to 1,000 dollar per post. He's making a full time income like a CEO. And the funniest thing is he started part time with Instagram because full time he was a cashier uh, in a fashion store. So he was always, I don't know, related to all the fashion stuff, but he was not really able to sell his value. And after he was able to sell his value, he is able to make 800 to 1000 dollars per post with only 50,000 followers. Just imagine that. And he's making many, many posts per day, not just per week, per day. And therefore, just imagine how much money he's making. How to get a deal? That's something I really helped the client with his fashion blog with because he was a bit of shy and he was not aware of his value. He thought, I'm happy if I get a product for free. And that's definitely nice for the beginning. If you get a product for free, I get it. You will get something for free. You were not able to buy it or you were not willing to pay so much money for this product. And now you get it for free. You are happy. That's nice. But be aware of your value. If you have such a high reach, then your content and everything you're posting is very, very valuable. Don't be shy. And therefore, one of the best things is to work with a social media kit. What is a social media kit? A social media kit is a small pamphlet. And in this pamphlet, you see all your insights about your reach, your followers, your engagement rate. Also very, very common is that you have a price list uh, in your social media kit so that the companies can see uh, how much they need to pay for a post, how much they need to pay for a story. And then a big advantage, people love packages. So for example, if you buy a car, then there's like the technology package. And if you buy this technology package, you would save, I don't know, $100. And you need to do exactly the same. For example, if someone is interested in doing, or if someone is interesting, or if a company is interested in working with you, then they are maybe interested in doing one post with you. One post, let's say, costs, I don't know, $1,000. One story will cost them $200. And now you make a package that you sell two posts and one story for $1,800. They save a lot of money and therefore offer packages directly in the social media kit so that you will directly do the upselling so that companies can decide if they would like to choose just one part or if they directly jump to a package and get even more to a discounted price. A very common thing is you need to be a kind of a salesperson, be proactive and contact the companies. You can either do it by your own or you work with a social media agency and the social media agency is doing this for you. But really be more proactive. And in the beginning, if you do not have so many followers, focus on smaller companies. Companies who are really in your target group or really in your niche. For example, if you are doing, I don't know, street style fashion, you can also, of course, think about Nike and all those big brands, Hugo Boss, etc. But first focus on the small companies because the small companies, they are most probably not working with very, very big influence because maybe they do not have the money for it. And they are happy to work with smaller influencer with only a few thousand followers. Let's say those called micro influencer and that's how you should start. Of course, if you're bigger, you can also work with Hugo Boss and Nike, etc. And Deutsche and Gabbana and all those very expensive brands. But in the beginning, focus on smaller companies to get your first deals. So this is it about how much money you can make by being an influencer or by being a business on Instagram.